Tottenham Hotspur, where do we start? <laughs> do we start by talking about how awful a team you are? Uh, do we start by saying Champions League football is about as uh, regular for you as a happy home for me? Or do we start with Gareth Bale leaving? Let's start with Gareth Bale leaving. Uh, I don't know if your image is going to come on the screen. Uh, basically, today's paper uh, said uh, the following story. Uh, Turn up or we'll find you. Yep. Gareth Bale apparently uh, potentially could go AWOL. This is not nothing I've heard directly from himself or his missus or anybody else associated with Tottenham Hotspur or Gareth Bale. But apparently they're saying if you uh, do not turn up to training, uh, they will find him. Uh, how does this look? How, does you, how do you see it panning out? Uh, how do you feel as a Tottenham fan uh, about Gareth Bale right now? Uh, I'm still fairly confident, to be honest. I think okay. it's a win-win situation. Um, regarding that individual matter about him leaving or not leaving or being fine for training, I think it's all really stemmed from being ill-advised by an agent, like like we've seen uh, with Ben Teco and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, obviously, that uh, Barnet, I think his agent is, um, and I th like it's quite in amongst the Spurs community, if you like. Um, mm. It's, it's quite well known that he started to be ill-advised, and there's no doubt he's had his head turned. Yeah, hundred percent. But um, yeah, he's had his head turned. But hopefully, we'll keep him for another year and. Then obviously move on. Rob, his attitude. I mean, it, I mean, if you're you're a Spurs fan now, if you, yeah. I'm an Arsenal fan now. Being an Arsenal fan, I see people leave every single year. It's almost like girls in my life. They stay around for a little while, make a bit of money, they disappear. So um, when a big an opportunity comes, <laughs> do you like the fact that Gareth Bale, an individual surely who at one point I remember in 2009 was going to be sold for three million, now per potentially being purchased for 95 million. I mean, Spurs have played a big part in his career. Uh, do you like the way in which he's carrying out his request to leave? One thing you're getting your source from the mirror, Rich. It's good. John Cross is a really nice person. But the mirror, oh, <laughs> the mirror itself. Yeah, yeah. No agenda, <laughs> is it? The mirror itself is an appalling source. Okay. But his general, <laughs> his general professionalism is fantastic from the field, and I doubt he'd skip training. He doesn't come to the preseason games for injury, which we don't risk. And if he goes, it's a win-win, as Russ said. So we get money in which AVB can spend strength in the squad. All right, Rich, I've asked the members <laughs> of One Direction. What do you reckon um, about Tottenham Hotspur? Um, do you want to see him there next season, even if he's in the wrong frame of mind? Because like Ross said, he's being ill-advised. So therefore, his head might not be, his heart might not even be in Tottenham Hotspur right now. He might be thinking about, the, you know, being coached or being monitored by Zidane, playing alongside his idol, Cristiano Ronaldo, who he imitates and is quite pathetic. I mean, who do you think? I mean, what do you think? <laughs> well, look, if he, if he stays, then no doubt, he seems to have had his head turned slightly yeah. by this. There, there seems to be something going on. But... I don't know, Bell seems to strike me as a type of lad that even if he doesn't go for one reason or another, if the deal just Tottenham ain't accepting it or the money isn't right, the structure of the payments for it isn't right, or he maybe doesn't want to go. Nobody's actually made any official statements on this. A lot of this has been papers saying a close, so, uh, a so, yeah. close to the person said blah, blah, blah. So, but he doesn't strike me as a type of lad that would come out, mope about, go on strike and do yeah. a Berbatov, basically. I think, I think he'd just wipe his mouth of it and crack on um, and get on with the season. You've spoken to him before, you've interviewed him before. I have, yes. When you did, what type of person did he come across as? He's very professional, very focused. He's a nice lad, very nice lad to speak to. Um, you can just tell he's, he's driven, very media trained as well. They all are. But they they, they all are. But no, he was just a very nice... A genuine lad. I spoke to him and put a little bit of a Trojan horse question into him about playing uh, at Cardiff and Swansea next season, like playing in Wales because of Cardiff being promoted. He answered it no problem. You know, there was no, yeah. I can't answer that, or he was a little bit guarded. He spoke quite openly about Spurs and him being a part of a Spurs team going to play in Cardiff and Swansea and his family coming to see him play there. He answered it no problem. So at that stage, there was absolutely no in but it was on his mind. Um, going over to the wonderful red sofa over there where we have a Chelsea and uh, an Arsenal fan. Uh, I'll start off with the Chelsea fan, Mr Jamie. Jamie, what are your thoughts on Gareth Bell and, and his situation? Is he taking it the right way? Is he going to leave? Will he stay? Um, I, I just like the fact that the top of the headline said Bale's starting to get ugly. Surely, <laughs> surely he started quite a while ago. Yeah, um, but as, 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 as a fan of football, I'd like to see him stay in the Premiership. Um, I, got, I think he adds a lot to the Premiership, but as a Chelsea fan, I don't really care if he stays or not. I don't think Spurs are going to threaten uh, for, for the title or for a Champions League play. So if, if he wants to go and try and learn Spanish, let him go. 
Um, Kenny, Ken, what are your thoughts on uh, Mr. Gareth Bell? Should he stay? Should he go? Well, like I said, forget if you want to, if you want the Arsenal fan to say, I'd like to see the back of him because he's caused some <laughs> more pain than I can. I'm prepared to admit, and he scored a few minutes against us. But from a footballing situation, is that you say he's had his head turned? But my 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 question is, is that it's very easy when a big club like Real Madrid come in, are showing interest in you. You have to, um, regardless of whether your agent is is um, pushing you one way or another. If Real Madrid making showing interest, in you, you listen, and and that's and that's the problem that Spurs are going to have with because that whether I like it or not, and I I really hate it. They're 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 playing um, good football. Yeah. They've improved from the date for the Stefan Freund days and the Chris Perry days when they were just an irrelevance in the life and stock. They're actually a good team. So if they're playing um, good football, which I know Spurs are playing, then it's only natural that their players will be coveted by the bigger clubs in Europe. And if you're going to wear a, a white shirt, you might as well be the white shirt of Real Madrid. Of course, isn't it? I mean, come on. Real Madrid or Spurs, come on. What would you do? I'd, I'd learn some Spanish. Same here. Exactly. What um, 